Here we are at Place Alexis Neon in downtown Montreal. We're going to explore for the last time these tunnels down here, which connect the Atwater Metro Station to the Place Alexis Neon Mall to Cabot Square in the park in the middle on St. Catherine Street. These opened here in 1967, I believe, just when the Metro opened, and this portion has not been renovated or restored, unlike the mall up ahead. Lexus Neon, and we're going to check this out because in a couple days from now they're going to close this down. They claim they're going to renovate it, restore it, but we never know. Now if you check right here, this is where it looks like there was an ad here probably, and I think they removed some maps and other ads around. Some people said that this place is like really, really creepy, but I don't see much of a problem, but I'm here during the daylight as well. Now we're just going to go through these doors right here. the door. Notice the floors are still pretty old. They did some restoration here probably maybe 10 years ago after this point right here. They put some new tiles and uh, they changed the escalators. As you can see they it's going to close on the 9th of January so not far from now and they removed some more looks like ads I guess they took away from here. And uh, they shut down the escalator going down, so there's only the escalator going up available. And as you can see, it's there's still people using this right now. They probably won't be able to use this for much longer, and they'll have to go above ground now to cross the street at St. Catherine and come through the main entrance of the mall. And you can check these escalators here. You see they run really well. They weren't, weren't very old anyways. I think maybe they restored them about maybe six, seven years, possibly. It seems like a pretty clean place. The only thing is it has a really strong smell in here of, well, smell of, uh, I guess, people's waste, I guess you can call it. It's not a very clean smelling place. I guess this is why they're closing it up, because they don't want people living here anymore. It's in the winter, it gets really cold, and it's a big enough station here. Oh, look at that. So you can have the old signs up here. Here's the Atwater exit right there. This was all added for the drivers to have their own little rest space. And that was probably an addition right here. This is part of the old original building, and then you have the glass walls that were added recently. It says Atwater there, and there's one that's Montreal Forum. See right here? Angle of the Forum, so it still has mentions of the Forum here. There's a Catherine Street right there. And there's the exit. There's a bus waiting. And right now, we're in, oh, I just want to show you one more thing back here. There's a system map right here. And there's the hours for the buses. And it's here's this angle of the forum, and that's where the buses pick up. So though this is going to close for a while, until at least September, I believe. Janitors cleaning up a little bit over here. So janitor station on the way. So things they're closing until September, but it's possibly going to be a lot longer than that. And there's no discussion yet exactly on what they're going to do out here. Is it going to be the same type of terminal bus station? Or are they going to make it smaller? Are they going to just shut it down completely? That's yet to be determined. What their goal is to try to make this so that it's not welcoming for people to hang out and sleep in. They don't, they don't want that kind of thing happening because there's other things going on just besides sleeping homeless people. There's also the drugs and other bad things that go on at night around here. So I'll just take you around to the other side of the building and you can see some of the original part of the building here, and some of the new parts that they put on. I see it says Metro, but the Metro is really far from here. This is actually it's completely separate from the Atwater station. And over there, that's where the bus drivers have their break room, but I believe they stopped using that a while ago. 
Now they just take their breaks on the bus, or they go across the street to the, the forum. So, again, this place is going to probably be closed for quite a while, starting the 9th of January. This is going to be one last view of Cabot Square Tunnel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.